So I'll just show you how I do the uh, hatch fill. First you need to install this Axie Draw extensions and I'll have the link to that in the description of this video. So once you install that extension to Inkscape, draw yourself some text and then after you draw the text what you want to do is remove the fill and add a stroke so your text looks like this and then you need to go to object or sorry path and I do union and then you come up here to your extensions axis draw utilities hatch fill and uh, these are the settings I've been using but I'll just go over them quickly to show you what it looks like. So select live view. Hatch spacing is the spacing between the lines. So if you were to increase it, it'll look like that. I've chosen 1.7. Um, if you notice that you end up with a line connecting the two letters, it's this setting here, this uh, connect nearby ends so the default is three and if you were to look at that here I change it to three you'll see this ends up connecting these lines because they're close so let's go back to two and what that does is it draws the hatch lines as one continuous line so I've taken it off and now these are just single lines. The only thing with that is the initial height sensing uh, will really slow that down with all these lines. So it's, it's probably better just to do it as one line. And inset from edges. You can see it's that. So these are the settings that I use. So we just hit apply and we can close this and just make sure when you export it so I do save as and then DXF and let's we'll call this temp save and make sure you have base unit as inch Otherwise, when you import it into sheet cam, uh, the scaling will be all off. So in sheet cam, I've set up a scriber tool and called it a plate marker. So in sheet cam, to get this to work, I change the, the post when using a marker tool. Uh, for on pen down this just enables the initial height sensing as long as marker tool selected uh, instead of editing the post uh, the other thing you can do is um, just set your initial height your cut height to slightly negative so like 0.00 negative 0 0.001 and then the initial height sensing will still uh, work And here's a look at uh, some of the tests.